and welcome back, fellow sword enthusiasts. Today on the Cult of Athena YouTube channel, I'm Tom, and I've got the LK Chen Saxony German Rapier. This is a similar piece to what we saw earlier with the cut and thrust sword, the Munich Town Guard sword, the LK Chen. If you haven't seen that review, make sure to check that out. Let's get right into it. All right, kicking this off, what is a rapier? A rapier is a specialized self-defense and dueling weapon. That is really, it's key is the thrust. It's there to keep you at bay, which is why it's such a long, nimble blade. It's not to say you did not see these on the battlefield in some kind of way, whether that is a more nimble one that's a little bit more narrow. You saw wider, more vulgar rapiers in a way. And whether you're holding this in an extended position upright, more like is associated with Spanish, whether you're a little bit lower, how you'll see used in Italian rapier fighting and German rapier fighting. Either way, it's there to keep you at bay and to hold you out on the thrust. It's there to stab you. It's sort of keep you away from, from the opponent and so you can stab them from a longer range to dominate long range. Pairing this to the Munich Town Guard Sword from LK Chen, the Munich Town Guard Sword is wider at the bottom and comes out to a nimble point. If you have not seen that review, make sure you check it out on the channel. These look very similar. You can see immediately how much longer the Saxony Rapier is because of its specialized use. This may have been more common on the battlefield for cut and also for thrust because you have an excellent return on this. Do you have a lot of thrust on this? Absolutely, you've got direct thrust, you've got cut, you have a smaller blade in order to get cuts around when you're fighting multiple opponents. This thing is for dueling. This thing is primarily as a self-defense tool for nobles and civilians. Let's start to go into the specs. Overall length, 47 inches. So very long, narrow blade with a diamond cross section. Both edges are sharp. There's a blade length of 40 and 3 eighths inches. The weight is three pounds, one ounce, which is not uncommon for a rapier at all. There was a review on our channel that said that you need to do some wrist strengthening to be able to train with this one. And yes and no, if you're gonna buy a rapier other than for your own sword collection, which you are, if you are, that's awesome. But otherwise, no, it's not uncommon as far as a weight. Three pounds, one ounce is not uncommon at all. It's actually quite nimble um, compared to some of the other rapiers that I've trained with. Edge, very sharp, very sharp on the edges. Um, plenty, you don't need to get a sharpening surface on this at all. I've never had an LK Chen sword where I've needed to get a sharpening surface on. And then when you look at the width of the blade, the width is 34 millimeters. And we look at the thickness, it's seven and a half millimeters down to two millimeters. So it does vary a little bit. Pommel, let's take a look at the pommel and the handle. The pommel's threaded. Point of balance is three and three eighths of an inch from the guard so really with this one I've had ones where they're really quote-unquote handle heavy and those are really hard to stabilize the thrust not the case of this one three and three eighths is solid it's right within the range of you being able to balance out the thrust and not have to use your grip so much to squeeze it to hold the tip in place and even though it's not the primary you're still gonna be able to use cut very well with a rapier. Is it the dominant function of a rapier? No. But that doesn't mean the cut is not still available to you with the sword. Finally, talking about grip length. Grip length is four inches. It is a wire wrap grip, similar to what we saw on the LK Chen Munich Town Guard Sword. And this one is more of a braided wrap, as you're seeing in the up close right here. The guard is very elaborate, so it's a rendition of a guard it's really bars and a cross guard to protect the hand that way when you're holding an extended thrust position you're able to keep your hand protected hold long range and not get your hand cut off <laughs> and then last feature that comes with the lk chen saxony german rapier is going to be a simple wood cord leather bound scabbard and you can see that the way this is milled out or really cut out it's a really smart design because the tang that is normally exposed in other ones, in other rapiers that I've trained with and seen and really cut with and all that, they, uh, they don't have this unique of a scabbard 
but I really like that the stock or the tang is really covered on this because it offers a lot more protection for the blade for storage and also for just displaying it as well. All right, so there you have it for the LK Chen Saxony German Rapier. This is a beautiful work of art, a very functional, high functioning work of art from LK Chen. Check out this one and the LK Chen Munich Town Guard Sword. That review should be posted by the time this one is posted. Give us a thumbs up, hit the notification bell on the corner, that way you can see when new reviews come out, and also comment below what you think of this one. And once you watch the Munich Town Guard Sword, Tell us what you think about that one as well. All right, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and I'll see you in the next one.